unfeasible as it is, that is still so cool. This is Yes and welcome back to Battle Seriously, a single Welcome back to Golden Sun the Lost Age. Where we fight single rocks that are basically not even worth my time because they blow themselves up half the time anyway. Anyway, last time we've completed scaling Magma Rock, and, which is now living up to its name. Uh, and we blew away inside, literally. Now that we are inside, well, we're playing around with a whole lot of radiation burns, is what is what would happen if this were real life. But it's not real life, so we can stand right beside magma, liquid hot, bubbling magma, without suffering any adverse effects whatsoever. In fairness, we are magic, so... I don't find it all that unreasonable that we could be using synergy to in some way protect ourselves. Oh, a mist potion. I think that's even... Yep, that's even a Felix thing. Now then, uh, I can go further down, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll see where it takes us, because I got no idea. Seriously, a game? Man, I miss the Phoenix. Even when it ran away, it gave me more experience than these assholes. Of course, it wouldn't have run away if someone had missed. Can I? Yeah, I can make that jump. Is this gonna, like, just stop, though? It actually is. Okay, then. So, there's no going back from here. Uh, this is probably the correct choice of directions, though. Because I need to blow stuff up, it looks like. I mean, that is sort of the name of the game in this area. Uh, can I do this side... Oh, you know, I can just go through here, so I can definitely do this side. With a critical hit, I might finish it off. Well, actually, no, I probably have pretty good odds. I actually, I didn't do it by as large a margin as I would have expected, but it still worked out. Yeah, I can just walk through here now. I don't even need to get over there to blow this up. Although, I suppose if I came in up from the other side, which is presumably possible, I would need the the mask to do the work for me. What is even over here? It literally just takes me to this. What is the point of that? All it does is blow up a rock. That is. Oh, you know, I bet there's a. I bet there's a ladder there actually. Hmm. Anyway, let's go across. Okay, yeah. So, I think that'll just about do it. Uh, yeah, that's what, where I thought this would go. Step on the bouton. I am probably done in this room. Or with the magma, rather. Uh, I do actually need to go down there, though. Run the Chimera! Wait. I can go down there, right? Like, there's a block thing sort of in the way. Uh, well, not from here. I need- okay, I get it. I need to go down from the other side. Yeah, that, that's how this is. That's how it works. And another Grand Chimera. Which is gonna get wrecked. Although it is certainly a higher class of enemies than the exploding freaking rocks. So you know, at least there's that. Okay. Uh, yep. Looks like this is correct. Um, I'm sure I've been through there. I can go up here now and down the other side. That that mask is still totally unnecessary to blow the damn thing up, though. You can just do it up close and personal. Okay, nothing there. I obviously I want to be on the other side of this. Uh, it's may not make it well I mean it is making it easy in that I can just go through another door to, to in fact be on the other side of that that upraised area however it's making it not so easy in that it is technically fulfilling what I asked for without actually providing the use that was implied um which you know 
happens. This is actually not bad game design. If your goal is to annoy a player in a playful manner, not bad game design. Oh, I'm over here now! Except I can't actually do it yet. Pretty much. Oh wait, that was the wide one, and there's things on the ground there, so presumably there is another lava thing here. Yep. Oh, I misspoke, sorry. Magma. Once again, we're underground, and deeper underground now, so it is not lava. Was there a front entrance to this place? Or was it just climb? I don't even recall. Because I know in the Aqua and Gaia rocks, I could get in from the base of the mountain. But I needed to climb to the top of it before I could do anything useful. Here though, I feel like maybe that w isn't the case? Like... I know for the Air's Rock, I definitely need to climb to the top before I get in. But I'm really not sure which one it was here. It was... I probably ended up... There was probably no entrance in the front, I want to say, from my gut feeling, but... I don't know. I mean, I guess I can just look when I'm done. Speaking of that, this one is actually bigger than I had remembered. <laughs> In my head, I had remembered this being as like a really short area, and while I still maintain, it's probably, well it's definitely not as long as Gaia's Rock, um, or sorry, it's definitely not as long as Air's Rock, but in my head, I had remembered it as being quite a bit shorter than the other three elemental rocks. And now that I'm actually here, it's pretty clear that's not the case. Like it's not necessarily a whole lot. It's pro- I would say it's of comparable length to Gaia and Aqua Rock, now that I'm here. And it's just sort of one of those interesting things for me. Anyhow, let's see what we can find. Ooh, it's a swingy chain thing! And a bouton! I mean, I'm gonna press the boot- wait. Let's, let's wait on that until I've gone across here first. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this will work. Oh yeah, it, it totally did. Awesome. Gale does work for clearing um, vines. But I... Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, back across we go. We can't actually do anything. What? No, don't drop the damn thing. I guess I didn't like my button choice. Uh, Gale! I don't think I actually have anyone with Whirlwind either, so... Yeah, okay, you do that, you do that, you do that, you do that. Okay, you actually just missed Felix. Wow. Way to Jenna it up in here. It's okay, though. Isaac's got your back. Oh, and... Well, I think that might have been Isaac, actually. Yep, that was Isaac. Okay, let's hit the boot on. The magma's all gone. And I can still go across here, but is there actually any reason to do so? I don't know. Let's find out. There is! Yay! Okay, so. So, uh, wait, actually, the first thing I want to do while it's on my mind, if I walk right up here, there were pillars. We're gonna line this up so they're in a useful position. Oh, I can also get that box that was down here. Speaking of things that would melt, I mean, presumably it's made out of. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say that it was made out of metal and not wood, although painted red as it were, were there is invariably something that would have burnt. <laughs> but I digress, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say it was made out of some sort of super metal that doesn't melt and not made out of wood. This would be red hot to the touch, 
and a golem core. What the hell is that? Of course. Okay, I guess we'll give first to someone else. Also, you're carrying a mysterious card. Uh, I'll give that to you. And I will give the burst gem, if I can find this stupid thing. Oh, burst brooch. I thought it was a gem. My bad, I guess. Give that to Ivan. Also, who has the... you do. We'll give this to one of these guys, because why not? You guys have water synergy, so... Sure. Let's go with that. And also, I should actually move this thing, because that was the whole point. So many forgeables. We are going to have a very productive trip to the blacksmith when next we visit him. And so much variety, too. Like, I don't even know what I'll get from basically any of these, actually. I mean, that is pretty much how it works, by definition. Each item, except for the rusty sword, has like four-ish potential um, giveaways. Some of which are probably better than others, but you know, I've said it before, I'm... Unless it's something that's really just terrible, I'm not going to be safe to scum it. And with... I don't think anything I have right now is very likely to give me something that's just plain terrible. Uh... Maybe the Stardust. Maybe. And even that is probably going to give me... Even that will probably give me something kind of equivalent or one step down from what I currently have, and in any case, it'll be obvious if it does. Another Salamander's Tail! Okay, then. Uh, you do that, you do that, you do that, you do that. That does not deadly poison him for some reason. Hmm, that's a little odd. Usually it does. Well, whatevs. It is totes not important. Now, I can go up this side. Don't know what's over here, I guess we'll find out. Okay, well there's something here. For sure. The something might be nothing. But, there's still something. Something. Uh, yeah. That, I want to say that made sense in my head, but I would be lying. It was just as nonsensical before I said it as it was afterwards. Um, can I go through here? It's like the, no, it's not a door, okay. So I need to, eventually this is where I want to be. So I am going to need to fill everything up with magma again. But I need to make sure I can reach here before I do so. I'm sure some of the things I've done have already helped, but that means I do need to be able to get to here. And in order to get to here, I will presumably need to come through here. Uh, okay, this connects to that area. So... I think I'm all done here. Like, I'm not 100% sure I needed to drain this again, actually. Well, no, I did, because I needed to move those platforms. Okay, so yeah. Those are the only things I needed to move, and then the rest of this was just for treasure, I guess. And I'm okay with that. Um, I don't think there's anywhere I can climb up in here. May well, no, not really. Okay, so... Yeah, just need to go across here. Uh, Gale! Man. That name is too close. Uh, I've been playing Freedom Planet lately, because I bought it in the Steam Summer Sale. And it's a pretty fun game! And also... Just... Actually has really good voice acting for an indie game. And also kind of, kind of buggy. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Oh hey, 
I'm the Frost Gem on Ivan. That also gives synergy. Or, that also gives battle synergy. I should give that to someone else. Like someone on my A team, so that they have more synergy options that I'm not going to use. <laughs> no, I think I'll just leave it where it is. Actually. I think that, well, it is the more, um... Well, then again, there's an argument making for doing that, or to be made for doing that, simply to have more space on my back row for... for carrying miscellaneous items. Because that's sort of what they're there for, as far as I'm concerned. Healing, healing me outside of battle and carrying all my inventory clutter. Oh hey, when did I pick this up? I must have gotten it from a battle at some point. Okay, uh... Yeah, Ivan is pretty full on junk himself anyway, so... There's a decent argument to be made for giving this to, say... I already gave you that one, so... Felix, I suppose. Now literally everyone in my front party can use water synergy. More useful than it sounds. Because a lot of the hardest bosses are fire-based. <laughs> Not all of them. A and a few- and at least one or two of them actually shuffle their elemental alignments. But even so... Okay, ow. Oh. I wish that had started a little bit further away so it could have gotten on it on the first path. But I guess it only cost me like maybe five seconds. It's not really a big deal. Now then. In here, I suppose. Yep, this looks probably correct. Yeah, I'd say so. And I needed that in order to access that door down there, so I need to actually drain this all again. So let's do that. After we kill this griffin. And maybe some other things. Maybe. Uh... It should be right through here, right? Yep. Awesome. And there goes all the magma into the depths of the earth. Well, into what I can only presume is the depths of the earth anyway. Because who even knows? You know, now that I'm thinking about this, it occurs to me, there are way few... I mean, I don't know if there's actually fewer bosses in this game, but in Golden Sun 1, every single dungeon ended in a boss. In this Golden Sun, well, just look at the rocks. Only one of the rocks out of all, out of four of them actually- wait, no. Can I, I can't say that the total confidence there might actually be a boss at the bottom here, I don't remember. But, even so, literally every single dungeon in the first Golden Sun ended in a boss. Here? This is the fourth, ro fourth rock dungeon. But, I have only fought things fought bosses in one previous uh, rock, elemental rock, namely the earth one, and it was sort of a big deal at the time. Okay, this is here, so what's on the other side? Quite possibly nothing. Oh, there was an entrance! Okay then, nice to know that I guess. I've climbed all the way down. So, yeah, I got no idea on this one. Uh... Yeah, oh? Ooh. Neat. Oh, that's what we need. So, let's head over there. Wait, no, I can't quite reach it. So, that one loops, but I'm not sure to where. You know, I bet I can use Reveal on that other tablet and it'll do a thing. But also, it's time to get our new Synergy, I think. Do it, Jenna. You know the- oh, I should actually be reading this. If thought worthy, I will grant thee the power of blaze with fire. You know, using the when you're trying to be formal is actually a myth- a misconception. In archaic English, the informal plural, or sorry, no, the in, informal pronoun was the. 
you was formal. It just sort of... But eventually, it just sort of adapted over everything. But I think it's sort of worth mentioning, because usually when you hear the in an archaic context, well, not in an archaic context, in the... Usually when you hear the word the, it's because someone is trying to sound more formal in a work that is trying to use more archaic English. But that is totally wrong. You would address your friends and maybe family as the. You would address so, so, something like freaking royalty? That is always going to be you in English. I'm standing too close. Uh, Blaze! What? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Blaze! Hmm, makes... I gotta wonder how I'm supposed to light the other one. Also, I can totally get that rock because I bet I can douse the, the flames. Okay, this is where I came from. Better. I sincerely doubt there's anything around the edges of this room. Although, I'm not fighting anything, so it doesn't hurt to look. There is... nothing! Oh! Okay, that's totally the monster. It actually could potentially hurt to look. So, I will go back to my, init my initial thought without looking on the other side. There's probably nothing there. Okay, so I am pretty sure I can use Dows on this. I was wrong. Okay, well, I guess I just need to do it the hard way. What's the hard way, you ask? Blaze. And then this pillar is clearly blocking a... Um, uh, door. I don't think this is actually a very... A particularly useful synergy. Like, you get more mileage out of, well, reveal for sure, and possibly. I think you probably get more mileage out of sand as well. Although, I cannot confidently say you get more mileage out of parch. Mostly, it's just used for the Mars Lighthouse, I think. Hmm. Anyhow, anyway, anywho. We are just about done in here. We can go right through here, and... Yes. Oh, I was sort of expecting I would need to cool it off first. Can I move this? No. Okay, so... Hmm. Well, I got the magma ball, and I'm done here. So, let's use retreat. This might even just take me to the to the proper exit since I went in and out of there before. Perfect. Okay then. Uh oh, right. I need to use. I guess I could use. I guess I could use retreat again, but lift costs less energy. Uh, on that note, though, this is a good time to stop. We completed the Magma Rock! Yay! La next time, we are going to do more stuff. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!